Hi, my name is Jill, and I work for Newport Wales as a naturalist. A naturalist is someone who studies a certain part of the natural world in order to share it with others. This video will assist you in identifying the marine mammals you may see on your enhanced whale watching cruise. We will show you how scientists and naturalists study the world by recognizing patterns or things that are the same and things that are different in order to learn more. Can you tell your classmates apart by only looking at their backs for one second? That's pretty much what we're asked to do when we're looking at marine mammals. I'm going to show you how looking at very specific details or something special that only that animal has and then comparing it to a picture that you know is that animal can assist you in gathering evidence you need to identify different marine mammals in the wild. In this video, we will show you what to look for when identifying our local marine mammals. Then we will show you photos and video clips from our photographers and ask that you use those skills to identify our local species. Let's start with pinnipeds which are our fin-footed animals, including seals, sea lions, and walruses. Locally, we have harbor seals and the beloved California sea lions. These two species are often confused, and many people call sea lions seals. But if we look closely, sea lions have external ears, ears on the outside, just like we do, and you can see them whereas seals have just holes in their head that get covered up by their fur. Another difference that's easy to tell these two apart are the arm flippers. If you look at a sea lion, they have really long arm flippers that they use to help walk on the land, whereas our seal friends have really short arm flippers and they move by undulating, which is moving their body weight around, very similar to a worm. We see a lot of dolphins off the coast of Newport. There are several different species of dolphins that visit us throughout the year, but I want to show you just two. This is a common dolphin. We see them the most. They have a very triangular shaped dorsal fin, which is the fin on the back. The common dolphins also have a beak or a long nose. The coloring is dark on top, light on the bottom, with a tan color in the middle. This is a Pacific white-sided dolphin. Look at it closely. Can you see some differences from the common dolphin? The dorsal fin, or the fin on the back, is very curvy or rounded. Scientists call it falcate. What about the nose area? Do you see a difference? They don't have the same beak shape that the common dolphins do. And the coloration, it's different as well. How would you describe the color of these two dolphins? The dorsal fin or the fin on the back, the rostrum or the nose area, and the colorations are very specific details that we use the most to identify species of marine mammals. On your enhanced whale watching trip, you are going to be scientists too. Let's take a look at some of the biggest animals on the planet and see if you can spot the differences in the dorsal fins or the fin on the back, the rostrum or the nose area, and the colorations of the marine mammal. This is a humpback whale. How would you describe the shape of the dorsal fin or the fin on its back? Can you see the tubercles or bumps it has on its rostrum or nose area? What kind of coloring can you see on its back? Here's a shot of that humpback whale, how we might see it on the boat. Take a look at the back or the dorsal fin. Can you see how it's the same shape as the diagram? That's the evidence we need to make a positive ID that this is a humpback whale. This is a gray whale. How would you describe the shape of the dorsal fin or the fin on its back? Is there anything special about the rostrum? Sometimes noticing that absence of a feature is the specific detail that we use to identify the marine mammal. And what about its coloring? How would you describe it? This example of a gray whale in the water shows just how little we can see of a whale in the water versus our diagram. 
I would use the color to tell which marine mammal this is. Look at that gray color and those patchy white spots. This is a blue whale. How would you describe the shape of the dorsal fin or the fin on its back? What can you say about the rostrum or the nose area? Is the blue whale really blue? How would you describe its coloring? Blue whales are so big, and that's the easiest way to tell it's a blue whale. But if you look at the dorsal fin or the fin on the back of the whale, its shape is very different from a humpback or a gray whale. Now that you know to look at the dorsal fin, the rostrum or the nose area, and the coloration, I think you're ready to practice for your field trip and to identify some marine mammals with me. Do your best to find a unique characteristic for that marine mammal in the clip to help you determine which of our local marine mammals it is. For example, look at this picture of a whale we often see on our trips. Can you see specific details or something special for this marine mammal that you could use to identify it with? Take a look at those long pectoral or arm fins on this whale. I would use that detail to help me ID this whale. Which of these whales also has a long pectoral or arm fins? This is an example of a field guide. This is what scientists and naturalists use as their pictures to compare the animals in the wild too. Yeah, I think the humpback whale has long pectoral arm fins. Next, you will look at photos and videos of our local marine mammals, and I want you to help identify them. You can use the printed field guides to help you. Remember to look for specific details that you can use as evidence to make an ID. After the photos or video clips, the answers will be shown immediately after. I encourage pausing between each clip and having a discussion about the evidence you have collected before the answers are shown. when they come to the surface. 
We can also ID whales by their blows, but let's save that for your next big adventure. Let's review how to use the binoculars so you can help us find these amazing marine mammals. First, the safety strap. You want to keep that around your neck so these don't fall into the water. When you first bring the binoculars up to your face, you can adjust how they fit by squeezing them or pulling them apart. Make sure they match your eyes. If you're looking in and it looks a little fuzzy, there is going to be a dial or a knob, something in the center that you can adjust how to focus it. Remember, naturalists and scientists look at patterns and specific details to find evidence to support their ideas. You have practiced this concept with marine mammals, but you can use it anywhere. You are all set for your big adventure, and we'll see you out on the water.